Hi guys, uh, welcome back to the video. It's been a long time since uh, I have posted any video, but the reason being was that there was plenty of analysis work for me and I needed some time to understand the market. So with a lot of research and uh, data points, I'm bringing out few observations that I have seen and I would like to trade on. So we'll uh, start with the Nifty's last two weeks of journey as that was a period when I didn't post it any videos and so we have seen quite a lot of movement in terms of Nifty going and touching 11,700 plus and then it sharp fall came and it started making a support at 11,300. So last two weeks we have seen that Nifty uh, is currently showing weakness and there has been not much movement it there was a sharp fall and then a small bounce back and then again today we saw the market was trading at around 11,300 up till 1430 and then the market started pulling off again to 11,375 and it was clearly visible with uh, certain data points such as uh, option chain data that uh, Last 45 minutes, I will say, in the option market, there was changes. There were a lot of uh, changes in the market. First, the call writers came and then they just vanished and then the put writers came in. So a lot of confusion for the day traders. And that's the reason if you are not, you know, uh, and not having a complete system which that can analyze the parameters in the index and in the stock markets, then you should not trade uh, basically in intraday you should only be looking for some short term trading because uh, intraday is very quick you need to know when the yorker is coming when the in swing is coming so it's like a d20 cricket match you need to a lot of practice to actually understand the market in intraday so this is uh, the lma and sma crossover so long moving average and short moving average which i've discussed many times uh, basically these trade signals are generated through my automatic trading system and uh, basically the crossover I'm looking here right now is for uh, SMA 50 and SMA 10 so simple moving average for look back period 50 and 10 and uh, the last signal that came was a buy signal when the nifty was at 9000 and thereafter you see the last four months uh, we had actually three months so last three months we have seen nifty rallying uh, up to 11,800 11,750 so there can be a slight correction from here on and that's what we are seeing right now the market is uh, currently at 11,300 and below sma 10 so sma 10 has been breached and the next support that the nifty can take is at 11,000 which is at sma 50 so it's a good point to actually start looking to short the market at higher levels and you know basically the resistance it has is at 11,400 and uh, you can easily short the market whenever the uh, market is you know on the higher levels and that has been the strategy most of the time uh, you know we have been following this trend but uh, when the market is you know above these uh, 10 simple moving average you can see that there is a good you know uh, fallback there is a correction uh, whenever the trend of nifty is uh, going above sma 10 period so whenever the nifty is moving up the SM, it is pulling back to sma 10 level and that's what i am always looking for is uh, to short the nifty at higher levels i'm not interested to buy at this range because nifty is uh, currently looking overbought and you should not be buying an overbought zone so that's another uh, you know learning from my past experience that never buy when the market is already overbought so all these information is on the uh, you know only for educational purpose i like to give a caution and uh, you should uh, use your financial advisor for any kind of investment uh, Things. So we'll move further. We have seen that the crossover is uh, not happened, but uh, the divergence between the SMA 10 and 50 is closing. So 
wait for the crossover probably for a swing trade uh, for people who like to do swing trading then uh, we'll look into the macd alert another alert which i try to follow is uh, moving av moving averages convergence divergence and this is where uh, the last signal came that is when the nifty had a sharp fall from 11000 700 plus levels to 11,300. So, again, uh, the market has tested 11,300 a lot of times. So, wait for the market to actually, uh, you know, come down. So, I will see that I'm seeing that uh, for this expiry, if Nifty is not able to cross 11,400, then definitely. Uh, the Expiry for this week probably will be below 11,300. So wait for the market. Uh, you know, market will give you the signals, and that's when you need to short the market if you are shorting the market. Basically, to short the market, I'll say the best levels are 11,400 to 11,500, and uh, that's what I am gonna do for this week expiry. I'll, I'm gonna uh, since I've seen the breakage happening at 11,300 and we are at a supply zone, so I will look to short at a higher levels. Again, Nifty moving averages. Uh, this is collective of all those uh, slow and fast moving averages. So fast moving averages are the red lines, and the slow moving averages are the blue lines. So we can see again the all the fast moving averages have been broken by nifty so that's another sign that nifty is showing weakness in the current uh, week volume analysis again the volume spiked and as i say that there's a negative correlation of the market with volume so whenever the volume increases the nifty uh, comes down so we saw nifty falling at higher volumes and that's perfect for our system Option chain data for this month's expiry is uh, suggesting that uh, the market is going to face resistance at 11,500, 11,800, and 12,000 levels. So highest open interest currently is at 11,500, followed by 12,000. So that's obvious. And similarly, for support, you will get support at 11,000 and 10,500. So highest open interest is at 11,000. So uh, they can be chances of expiring expiry for this month at 11,100. So that's my uh, bias, you can say. Technical wise, uh, there is only one technical right now supporting us, which is MACD. Uh, MACD is currently showing a downward signal, and that's what uh, I think has made me bearish in this market because there was a crossover with MACD and also you can see the ATR is slightly you know giving a nudge up so there is a volatility increase so market is kind of you know you know sensing phase where it's trying to understand what kind of announcements or what kind of news can come out and then it will show the real picture so still there is a lot to go in this month's uh, you know the up and down movement of nifty there's a lot to come so but yeah, if you have a system that can, you know, trigger or that can capture the, all the data points that probably are important, then yeah, you can go for, you know, swing trades and intraday trades. So ADX is right now not giving any momentum. RSI is also uh, kind of in the coming out from the overbought zone. So yes, again, uh, some kind of, you know, these are lagging indicators. So this these will be showing this the bearishness or the bullishness only after some time. So these are not leading indicators, but uh, lagging indicators. And uh, one needs to be careful when using technical indicators on charts to understand what the market is doing. So that's from uh, my perspective for last two weeks. What I've seen is market is trading, uh, you know, in a very volatile manner because uh, it's already in a very uh, precarious zone 11,800 uh, was the peak and uh, currently the market is at 11,370 so I'll say that uh, to short the market is the best way to actually uh, you know be safe in this uh, supply zone area 
and one can look for uh, buying the market at probably 11,000 level. So if you are a buyer or bullish in the market, then wait for the market to come to 11,000 levels. If you are, uh, you know, bearish for the markets, then you can short the markets at higher levels. So guys, that's it from my end. Uh, hopefully you like this video. If you have liked, please subscribe and share it with your friends, family and relatives so that they can also start enjoying the markets and start reaping the benefits. Uh, I like to post more videos on the technicals and how to make algorithms, but uh, that will take me some time. So keep watching this channel for getting views of Nifty and to uh, improve your understanding on how to capture data points and leverage it for your uh, monetary benefits. Thank you.